Hello and welcome back to Satisfactory. So we increased our screw production in the last episode. And now we should have enough to build reinforced iron plates and rotors. Yes. Already full. Okay. Let's see what we needed for those. Reinforced iron plate. Plates and screws. And the rotors. Rods and screws. Okay. Produce an assembler. Let's see where's the assembler. Requires 15 megawatts. Okay. So we need two of those. We will need an additional burner. 30 megawatts. And we want to have two storage containers and of course power and foundations and belts and stuff. We need reinforced iron plates and rotors for this. I already built a few manually, so we should be good. And now I just grab a few plates and rods and whatnot. Don't think we need rods that many now. Plates, rods, we're good. Cables and wires. And of course concrete. Grab a little bit more concrete. I would like to have the assemblers one level higher, one floor up here. So maybe let's start with the the output shall, shall go here. Need two output containers, one for the reinforced iron plates, for now I will just place them here. And one for the rotors. Okay. And then I want to go up one level. So where are the walls? Eight, here. We climb up here. Build mode. Where's the build mode? R. Zoo. Yes. So let's say we have a few here. Will that be enough? If we bring the upper level all the way over there, then this will not be enough for the... for the smelters. So, maybe go up one level. Oh. Wrong key. Bring it up one more level. Overlapping others' clearance. I don't know. What is overlapping there, but we will find out. And then I was thinking like so. Don't need it all the way here, but... We'll do it for now. I need a, a way to get up here. We could place a tower. Or maybe have a ramp. Let's have a ramp go up. Okay. Looking good so far. Now for the input. Well, let's say the output goes into here. There's a lift. So I would have the output like so. Do we have an assembler on our toolbar? Three. That's a constructor. Four. Oh, that's an assembler. Okay, where's input, where's output? Like so. Floor is too steep, is what he says. Okay. Need more space for this. Need a different angle, a different viewing angle. Where's our tower on the six? Maybe I have a better view from up here. 
the uh, number four was the assembler, right? So this is the output. We are looking at the output and the two inputs. Okay. Maybe have the output over there. And the two inputs here. Yeah. Where's the lift? Come here, lift. Here it is. From there, I would like to go down. <laughs> ah, not so beautiful. But for now, that'll do. So this would be the output. And then we would need... The screws from over there and the plates from here. Let's see how we can do this. Another lift. This is a bit too high. Let's say we place a pole here. Remove this one. Can we place it from here? Oh yeah. Then we can remove this pole, I think. Yes, these are the plates. And we need to bring the screws in here. Close this up. Still need this one for the output. Where's the lift? Here, the five. Okay. We have it not go down all the way. Maybe do the same here. I don't like how this clips into this... ...into this other belt. Let's see if it's the same height from below. Okay, now for the screws. Oh, and this one needs the rods. Where are the rods? Here. Will it show us if it's the same height like this one? No. Could be a bit higher, I feel. Can we place it from here? Yep. Remove this one. Have a belt going here. Yes. Now for the screws. We need to bring the screws up. I want to bring them over here. 
up here and then behind the SMS. That's what I want. So like so. Yes, have another lift. That should be the same height. Yes. Okay, then have an oh, this needs to be a Mark II belt, I believe. Let this one go here. Oh, and we're missing reinforced iron plates, of course. Okay. Now let's hope you have enough. Mark, belt mark two. This will be ugly, right? Yes. Yes, yes. Maybe like, to here. Then in, into here. That was too tight. Yes. Okay, and this one will be doing rotors, screws and rods, right? Yes, needs 100 screws and 20 rods, okay. And the other one will be doing plates, reinforced iron plates. And this one only needs 30, oh no, 60 screws. So for here, a Mark 1 belt would be enough. Bring this into here. No. Just have it connect automatically. Yeah. Doesn't look bad. Okay, screws and plates. You'll be doing iron plates? Okay. Yes, yes. And then this one needs to be a Mark II as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, and they snap directly onto the containers. So we are good here. We are good to go. Wanna check down there? Oh, this one's pretty high. Is that the same height like this one? No. Maybe like so. Yeah, that's okay. And have a belt from here to here. And one belt from here to here. Now we can close this up. 
<laughs> Going on the bed, okay. Yes, yes. Power is what we need. Power. So, two more burners, what we said. Number one. Oh, this one's misplaced. Once again. Yes. And we have one power line from here. Well, we need to bring up the power over there. Where do we go? This is like our central power pole. That distributes the power down to the copper line, over to the mine, and into into this here factory. So, the room remo remove this one. Take a line, let's say, from here to let's say to here. From here into the factory. And from here we go up one level. Yes! Bring this up here first. Maybe to here. They still start producing? Yes, they start producing right away. Okay. Now, where do we get down? We drop on the container here. Yeah. I also want to feed the feed the new banners. Grab it all. Let's fill them all up. Max consumption 179. Okay. Put the rest back in here. And let's say keep half a stack for our chainsaw. Okay. Looks a bit weird if it has no support here. Maybe you can at least have a wall here. And close this up as well. Maybe have another wall here. One more wall here. Okay. Very good.
Yes, we're doing five per minute. And here we are doing four per minute. Okay. This always looks a bit weird, I feel it. These lifts come out of out of the ground. But it's okay, it works. Yes, yes. Okay. Next thing I would like to have is a another assembler that we can use to feed manually. I would like to have this down there somewhere with let's say two input containers, one output container and the assembler. How do we go to get down? Not down here. And this one I would like to have preferably behind this, behind the hub. But the space elevator is in the way. I'm thinking if we should move this. I already, already thought about this last episode. We have a bit of room, a bit of space here at the back. Maybe a little bit. Or we leave it where it is and... No, just let's remove it for now. Goodbye. <laughs> so we can use this space here. At least so far. We have our chainsaw. Yes. Yes, we get up there. Let's see if the elevator still fits there. This elevator. It says it fits. Yeah, it's looking good. <laughs> Always nice to watch. <laughs> okay, then for here I was thinking... Where's the assembler? On the floor, I believe. If we could have... Let's say like so. Then we need containers. Five. Like two input containers. One here. Will that line up? This one lines up, but the other one does not. Now let's do that again. We have one container here, the other one here. <laughs> too close. That is too close. Like so. No, not really. Yes. Where are the belts? Here on the tree. This one goes in here. This one goes in here. And then one output container. Let's say we put it like so. Okay, and then we can have things produced automatically. Or manually, I should say. But we need power for this. Of course we need power. 15 megawatts is what it needs. What do we have here? 
battery capacity, max consumption 16. I'm thinking we should utilize this one as well. This one is not running all the time, our fuel production, and this one will most likely not be running all the time as well. But... Here we have 16, over there we would have 15, that's 31, 1 megawatt too much. Okay, so we go from this here. Where can we grab this from? 4 out of 4, 4 out of 4. Need this pole here and then these connections. From these banners. Go to this here. One, two, one, two, three. This has a third one. This has a third one now. Now this one needs to go to here. And from here we can go over here. Or can we even... Yeah, just draw a line from here to here. Okay. And then, for example, we can have this make the smart plating that we need for the elevator. Reinforced iron plates and rotors is what it needs. Two per minute, okay. 25 minutes is what it will take. How are we power-wise? 220, max consumption 194, okay. We'll have a little bit of room. Okay, very good. Let's check how our plates and rotors are coming along. 50 plates, 40 rotors, okay. Can already grab a few. And put them in here. Where are those reinforced iron plates? And where are the rotors? Rotors, yes. Have we set this up already? Okay. It requires two of each. Yes. Here we go. Smart plating. 25 minutes and we're good for the space elevator. And what do we need for the next tier? Milestone. Jump pads. Also rotors, okay. And tier 3 is where we get only get when we have finished this phase 1 of the project. Okay, very good. <laughs> yes, our first assemblers that we placed. Not the most beautiful thing, but it works so far, okay. Well, and that shall be it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and that I see you next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Goodbye.